Hi everyone, it's me Jamshed Raza from professionaltutorial.com and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to change eye color in Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. Now that is the eye color which I have just edited and before it, it was like that one and we can see different procedure in this tutorial and let's get started. Open your image or eye image in Adobe Photoshop and you will see the layer like this one and I will provide the download link of that image in description of this video below and you can easily download that from the description now for that one we are going to just add new layer we are going to just uh, drag that layer to the new layer and we will get the copy of that layer now we are going to hide that one or we may leave that as it is but you can see that now it is selected the layer one copy and we are just going to select our marquee tool and that marquee tool is elliptical marquee tool the second one when you are going to just hold down your right button and it will come up and you are going to select and that small a square will appear here and it means now it is selected and you can work on that one and we have that uh, uh, new selection selected and uh, sh make sure that your feather is zero percent and now we are just going to come in view and we just make and we will just bring ruler here and you can see now we have ruler here now we place that to the top of that eye and one to the bottom as well and one towards left where the boundary is coming and all he all over here and one to the right now from the left you are going to take that point of cross section and draw the eye in here and you can see that exactly we have just got that selection from here and now we and you can hide the ruler here and or guides that is the guides we are going to hide that guides now once again come here and in status bar you have addition you are going to add in selection and you are going to add some areas which has remained here now you can check exactly it is coming up very nicely and you are going to select every empty space from here and now we have nearly completely selected everything in here and now you can just you are ready to change the eye color and you better know that we are going to come in image in adjustment and you have hue saturation vibrance and color balance we are going to select color balance and you can use any of that one that has no special effect but we are going to just take that now we have just changed the sign towards red and you can see now reddish color is here you can also change that to maybe light green or like this one and you can just check and balance that color as much as possible and just find out which color is looking good and you can you are going to check that one now i have just selected the sign to plus two and we have make mag mag magenta and green which is 42 plus and we have yellow blue which i have 90 plus now we are going to check the preview and you are going to see that it has changed tremendously now we are going to press ok and here i am going to zoom out a little bit and we are going to press ctrl d and it will deselect that eye now you can see that it is the original eye color and it is 
the one which we have modified in Photoshop now let me just press ctrl Z and you can see that we have again just brought the selection because I undo the deselection now we are going to hide that one and once again I will just duplicate that layer and you can change different color from maybe color mixture as well now let me just show you how you are going to change now we are going to just change different color from here maybe red green blue or any preset which you have here you can take change with that one now let me just make it more okay grayscale we have we don't want grayscale oh we want default and that should be blue and from blue we can change the color now check let me just yeah you can just play with all these settings and get what exactly idea you have now control d once again and now that is uh, what we have here that is the first one it is a little bit bluish color which we have done now you can see that that is the light version of that color and we also have that original one now let me just show you one more trick that now you have just changed that color just press uh, just make one new layer and in new layer you are going to come in dodge color or dodge tool and you can increase the size of that one from here now as much you want now I can just a little bit change that one it will not affect on new new color therefore we are going to delete once again that one and make one new layer from that now you can see we are going to increase the light of shadow or here exactly now see how much we want we are going to increase that one now if we just select for example brush tool and uh, here we are going to just take that light one and now this make new layer and now I'm going to draw uh, one circle here and one big circle here and you can check now that one as well and since I have just made that in new layer, you can also cut that one yeah, or you can move that one. Now let me do that. And we are going to move that with move tool. And and the place which it looks good, you can just select that one. Now control D. I just did control D. Now once again, let me just select brush tool. And since we have a new la layer, as you can see that we are going to draw something like maybe let me just take the opacity down a little bit and here okay maybe change that one now that is how you are going to change the color of the eye and you can just take that to any level where you want that it looks good for example let me just make some more modification and here we are going to take burn tool and in 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 bottom we are just going to make that mid tune and you can see now we are going to bring more depth here and you can check that out now it's it looks good now that is the original one and after modification we have done something like this one and here you can just make different options and different things to modify the eye color i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial and uh please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more amazing video and tutorials and if you like the tutorial please press thumbs up and if you have any question or problem or any suggestion you can just drop that in comment box and we will be we will be 
in contact with you thank you everyone once again please don't forget to subscribe bye bye